right, guys, welcome back to Aeon Your Hero. Now, this is about items you're going to need for a house for yard work. So, number one, you're going to end up having to cut down shrubs and trees, get a bowl saw. This, this right here is going to be uh, not necessarily in garden, it's going to be around the area where the lawnmower is. And I had to get a lawnmower too. So, a lawnmower, the cheapest was like 165 uh, this bowl saw, I think it's like 20 bucks, maybe. This right here was like $70. Look at how, it's not, it's not one of them long ones, it's pretty short. Um, it's Ryobi, it's a 10 inch cordless string trimmer edger. Okay, as you can see, it's not that big. It's really not. I mean, if I'm going to use this thing, okay, how far away it's going to be. I might have to bend down like this or something like that and use it. You know, but this right here, um, it has, includes battery and charger, okay? So, on top of getting this, you know, you're going to run out of string. So, I also had a, uh, we got some, got this right here. This was like $20, but. What is that? These things, there's three of them in here, so there's three auto, uh, Three pack single line and spool. You know, like like with fishing, except for it's not for fishing, it's for the cordless, it's for the trimmer. The string trimmer right here. So you already got three packs in here, okay? They're already rolled for you to slide them in there and it should be, it should be good. Now, do not forget you need some oil for your brand new lawnmower. You need to get yourself some small engine oil, okay? SAE 30. This is what I got. Now I got this bigger bottle because it's new. Okay? It's it was four ninety, right? Four dollars ninety cent. Uh, I should get the receipt. Yeah, and it was four dollars ninety cent. It wasn't that much. Oh no, I got the receipt still in my pocket. Let's see what receipt this is. So you Oh, that's your Home Depot receipt. Can. Oh yeah, the gas can standard. This is a little bit different, isn't it? Uh, so apparently, kids have been drinking gasoline and stuff like that, and their parents don't know when they're getting sick. So now. Let me read this to you. By law, by law now, okay? This child safe can is self closing and must be unlocked to you. So look at this contraption. First of all, how you even put gas in this thing is you gotta take this, you put this thing, push that down, and you got these grooves in here. This helps lock it like look at this. Look at this. It locks and tight it and tighter. It's not coming off. So you need to be able to have the strength and push that down, push it down hard. Undo this, and then what you're going to do is when you feel inside here, there's a notch on the inside here. It's like really small, it's a notch. So you're going to be taking the gas from this one gallon, okay? And this is like the fill line. So you're going to put it all the way in there until it stops, okay? And then you're going to fill it. So right here, let me now show you how you're going to be pouring this thing. So you again, hear that noise? Good, see, so it won't come off. It's got some grooves. Now here's the trick, okay? You pour it like this. Kid can't, oh, I don't want to drink, you know, I don't want to go crazy and do like the rap videos and drink Molly and Lean Noir or whatever that crazy stuff they say. So, with this gasoline, nothing's going to come out of here. Now, just for even more safety measures, you got this cap, put this cap on here, okay? Boom. But, that's not enough. Because kids are still drinking stuff out of here. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take this knob, push this knob in. And even if you push this knob in, that's still not enough. Because you got to use your whole hand. You're going to push this up. Like this, and, and take your fingers and squeeze that. See that go in? Now you can pour it. So, that's what you gotta do for this. Now, let's see here. So, this right here, like I said, cut trees. Perfect. I've used this before uh, when I was working uh, somebody's yard. Full lifetime warranty. Good thing. It's a bold saw. And you just hold it like this, boom, boom, boom. Now watch where your watch where your tree's gonna fall. Of course, you don't want it to fall in power lines, anything like that. Put that to the side. Now I thought I was gonna have to like get some screws and everything else, but look at this. Watch this. See this? I mean, this is like the most thing I gotta do, I guess, is put this on. Seems like. Got a bag here. Oh, Ford Cycle Engine Oil SAE 30. 
Meats are in seeds and API classification. Oh, uh, so it already comes with oil. So that's a good thing. It already comes with it. And um, got a little guard here. So that's great. So basically, it already came put together, huh? Mm -hmm. Now. And we just bought it too, actually today. So let's let's lift this out of here, everybody. Let's lift this out. Oh, you sure you want to do that? It's uh, it's heavy. Lift. Oh my gosh, it's it's heavy. It is. Yeah, the box is heavy anyway. It's, um, and, okay. Look at that. And you should, and when, um, you should probably tell people how heavy it is. Um, the pounds? Oh, um. At Home Depot? I had to help this Asian lady, too, with it, because she was having a hard time. It's heavy for her, even. How heavy would you say it is? Yeah, look, you just kind of got it out of the box. Look at that. You're going to lean it back. Yeah, let's see here. It, uh, this is zip tied. Mm -hmm. So I guess you tighten it with these. Yeah. Which is amazing. Now, this is not, this is a push. Like I said, it was 160. It was the cheapest one. 160 was 68. Or something around. Oh, wait, wait. You for, you forgot, too. You, you brought the two-year warranty. Yeah, for it in case it breaks. Two year warranty for this, twenty five dollars. Two year warranty for this, twenty five dollars. Home Depot. Okay, so that's what it's going to cost. So it's twenty five dollars for the lawnmower um, warranty. And it, and it says that if it breaks, you can bring it back. Awesome. So total cost for just the push mower that I paid for, just total cost came to be uh. Two hundred twelve dollars or something. Yeah, it's two hundred twelve dollars and two hundred twelve dollars and fifteen cents. Yeah. And that's just for this. Now for the rest of the stuff, I thought I had the. Uh, oh, I have the receipt because I I bought it. Yeah, lady helped. It was like a hundred. I think it was like a hundred and sixty-four or something like that for uh, the uh, the trimmer. So here we go. Here we go, y'all. All right. So the trim spool is twenty-one ninety-seven. We got we got some wire hooks because you know. Oh yeah, because I bought some uh, wind chimes. They were like, Here's yeah, look one. at that. It's pretty, isn't it? She likes this one. And this is blue. Because her favorite colors is blue and purple. So you got a blue dragonfly. Yeah. And Oops. You got a purple hummingbird. Yeah, look at that. She, she likes these. So I'm going to be hanging these up later. Okay. Let me set this up. You can put it on top of there. They're not going to notice it. Put it on some cotton. All right, so... Medium wire hook, which is like 348, which I just got these. These hooks here. And yeah, I'm just gonna put them on the side of the, the things and just kind of hang these up. Come, so the command hooks, it was like three pounds? Yeah, that says One you got. three pounds, and that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, using that. So I don't gotta drill holes, you cause any damage or anything. Um, the trim spools, like it's 21.97. The one gallon uh, can there, gas can, mm -hmm. that was $14.97. Wow. The, um, said around 30 watts. Oh, the oil, the extra oil I got, that was uh, $4.38. The trimmer was $69.97, so that would be $70. And a two year, per, oh, never mind, a two year replacement for that trimmer like was $12. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. And, uh, so, those are the facts of the receipts, at least. Oh, did you get a, a, a rake or anything like that, or? There's yeah, a rake. I got, I got a rake. There's a rake. So, I needed to get, I had to get this, which I don't know how much this costs, because I just kind of, like. I thought it was $9.99 on, on Home Depot's website, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, probably. Sure. It was, like, 10 Yeah, it's kind of cheap. So, got this, and I've already used it. This has been already been used. Yeah. I uh, used it today. Matter of fact, the first time I used it was today. And it held up. It didn't break. It didn't have any plastic break or nothing like that. And I just kept raking in circles. And what I, another time, I just raked in a big, long line. Mm -hmm. And then I raked everything down into a pile. Yeah. And that's because I have a tree that got those spiky gumball looking things. And they're just falling all over the place. And um, I got them like probably like 10, 12 something piles out in the front yard. Um, but I notice people have like these, like my lady calls them yard bags, but I'm like... Oh it's gosh. like some paper bags that they put uh, like yard waste, like um, leaves and twigs and grass and 
weeds yeah. and stuff into. I don't know if this is the time that people pick, pick that stuff up, but I don't yeah. know, maybe I need to get some bags or something later on because people's already putting them out in their front yard, and so I don't know if this is the time or not. But I got a bunch of shopping bags. I'm like, I don't know why I can't just use that. You know, I, I got tons of shopping bags. Just put the things in them. I don't see what's the problem. Yeah. Um, unless they're going to burn it all. Unless they, they come and pick it up and it's got to be in the paper bag so they just set everything on fire or something. Yeah. That's what I'm guessing. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much the stuff you need as far as your yard goes. Uh, when you first get in a, a house. Because, like, it's a lot of stuff. It is. It's it's expensive to now, to start talking, getting stuff. Like total prices and stuff like that. Like man. But it's been like almost like four. That's like maybe four hundred probably. Two hundred twelve dollars on one. One hundred sixty-four. One hundred sixty-one on another. So we're almost at four hundred basically. So we like. Three. We're almost like at three hundred and seventy something dollars. Close to four hundred, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot of things. I think with a house, it's it's more expensive because you got to buy stuff. Like if you're in an apartment, you don't have to buy like a lawnmower, a trimmer, or anything. You don't have to buy that stuff. But we realize we have to buy this stuff because we have neighbors that have houses across the street and they're cutting their grass and stuff like that. And our grass is growing and stuff. So we're like, okay, we got to go ahead and start taking care of the yard because we don't want to have that yard that has all the weeds and everything in it and stuff. We want to keep our house looking nice and everything. Not only that, I got these. Seven dollars and fifty cents solar panel rocks that has batteries in them, and um, I got like three of them, and they were good. They're fifteen lumens, and for the backyard, I got three of them. Yeah. And we put them along just the, the walkway, the, walkway. Where, the walkway going out the back into the alley to take the trash out, and it worked yeah. really good. It's really dark back in our backyard um, on the dark. back, so. Um, that's why we're trying to light it up a bit because it's really dark back there and it's good to have some light back there to see, you know, I mean, there was moonlight, yes, like, was it yesterday, last night, but it's still kind of dark back there and stuff. It's, you know, I think it may be expensive to be in a house, but at least you have more privacy, you know? I mean, how many times am I going to buy a freaking lawnmower? How many times am I going to buy one of these? How many times am I going to buy one of these? You know what I'm saying? The most things I'm going to be buying is gas for this. Oil, maybe more oil for this, and like whenever one of these breaks, which is not too often, and a bone saw. A bow saw. A bow saw. I mean, I this thing can get rusty even and it will still work because the person I was working with, when I was working at his house or his yard, he gave me a bow saw. This was all rusted and everything. It was still cutting trees like it was nothing. Yeah, and there there was a lot of people at Home Depot today. There was so many people there getting a whole bunch of stuff, I guess because it was like a nice day and stuff, and it's May, so everybody's trying to get out there and stuff like that. I was out there getting flowers. Like you see all oh, my gosh. out there getting flowers and garden stuff. There's yeah, like and, people, every, and everybody was basically buying like the same lawnmower we got. Yeah. Yeah, so there was this other guy that got a lawnmower. This lady got a lawnmower. It's like everybody was buying like the... The cheapest, you know, lawnmower. Now, you guys notice it does not have a bag. Um, if he was going to get the lawnmower that had a bag, um, that would be like $229. And there was even a lawnmower that was like, had a battery or something. Yeah, Ryobi. And it was a Ryobi? Now, it was Ryobi. It was a Ryobi, but it was um, had like a battery that you can switch out from that and the Ryobi lawnmower. But it was, how much was like 400 or something like that? It was or? Like 300 or something. But that was yeah. because there was a Ryobi representative there. There was a woman there wearing all black that then there's a Ryobi. So the first thing she took me to was a one hundred and thirty nine dollar something Ryobi weed eater. Yeah. And and it looked good too. It did. If I had the money, I would have went with her recommendation. But yeah, we would have. And we also before we got to Home Depot, we actually saw this guy that was cutting grass, um, that had like a, a battery powered trimmer. Yeah, and so and that's, that's what we were before we got there, and that's what's like, oh, I could get one of that because I thought that I was bound to have to get this really long cord and use the one with the cord. Yeah. But when I saw that he had a battery powered one, you just going around like it doesn't have to be gas powered or electric powered. It can be battery powered. I'm like that's what I want. And so yeah. Now, Seventy dollars found one. Yeah, and it's it's pretty cool. I think you know that we got the stuff. I mean, like you said, we're not gonna buy another lawnmower or anything. But those lawnmowers like that that were one sixty eight, basically they're basically running out. Cause I bet you by tomorrow they will not have any of those. Now the reason why I did decide to get the plane is because of this. 
many times the string will break on people. And if it breaks like that, then they say I can replace it. So yeah. if anything breaks, I can replace it. Yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, sounds like to me that's a pretty good uh, deal because they're probably trying to say, well, we built this battery long enough to make that type of guarantee and give you that type of warranty that in two years this thing shouldn't be breaking on you. So, that's yeah. pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Anything else? That's it. I want to thank y'all for watching. And these are some of the things you might need. Lawnmower, rake, bowl saw for trees, this to trim the yard, the sidewalks. The, the gas can. The gas can. And then the engine. Ex extra the, rollers for, uh, extra spools for this. The engine and the stuff, engine oil, yep. Engine oil. And as you saw, you know, you might, you can probably hold off on that because you already got a bag that comes with it. So... You know, but I'm not taking any chances, and I didn't know. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much what you need. You'll get yourself some wind chimes, and if you do, you don't got any hooks, you know, just go get some flat things, flat hooks you stick on the wall, or yeah. on the beams or whatever, hang them up, and you should be happy. Yeah, and if you guys kind of see the mannequins in the background, that's basically for my little projects that I do. So, that's kind of why the mannequins are there, because I, I got a little side project that I do and stuff with them, so... That's what they're there for. They're not there to be creepy or strange. They're there because some it's two things I bought. Mannequins are not cheap. Okay, I had to get them off eBay. They're they're not cheap. Okay, but anyway, they're my little projects, and nobody thinks it's creepy or weird or whatever. So, all right, all right, people. Thanks. Thanks, thanks for watching. Hey.